All right guys, welcome to this video and this one is going to be really short and simple. We're simply going to be building a nav bar and that too not responsive. So, let's roll the intro to get right into it. Okay, so to get started, I have this CDN link for Tailwind CSS and just the background on the body. And then for the nav, we can go ahead and say nav and let's say h3, um, nav or whatever. And then we're going to have a div with three links. So we can say a into three and give them all a hash. And then we can say, let's say menu, whatever. You can say home contact about. All right, let's see how that looks. We have this dark text over here. So we'll go onto the nav and give it a BG indigo, let's say 400, cool. And we're going to say it should be a flex container. So we're basically turning on the display flex on this. Now, uh, let me open up the dev tools to show you guys. Now this is a flex container. Alright, I think I'm going to have to change the color for you to see clearly. Those pink dots. Yeah, so I'm turning on the flex and this is a flex container and this is one flex item. This is the second flex item. Now to increase the spacing between them, we can simply say justify between. What this does is justify content space between. And now you can see these are two flex items and there's this whole width of space between them. All right, and then we can add padding to this nav pool. Now, the next step would be to uh, style the brand basically, the nav text. So we'll say text LG, font bold, tracking wide. And we can try adding tracking wider that just increases the letter spacing basically you can add tracking tight tracking tighter tracking wide tracking wider to control to play around with the letter spacing so after that we can come to this div and say class text sm font let's say light yeah and now you see these are misaligned so Along with justify between, we can either try items center or you can also go with items baseline in this case. This is just saying align items and then center or align items baseline. It's up to your preference and what kind of logo do you have over here. So, all right, guys, that's it for building the simple, simple nav bar. But uh, the things that I want to reiterate is, uh, let's go over how Flexbox is working over here. So, we have this nav element and then these are the two parent elements inside it. One is h3, the other one is div. And then we have justify hyphen between. What that means is justify content space between. It basically adds a bunch of space between them and pushes uh, the both the containers to the edges, respective edges. And then we say items baseline and baseline is basically the uh, line where this text is starting from or something and it's going to align these items according to the baseline. You could also have gone for center as well though. So that's it for this video guys. Uh, if you found this helpful, just drop a like and let me know in the comments. Thank you.